Hello everyone. We will study about fractions and its types. Let us first define a fraction. A fraction represents equal part of a whole. It is a small or tiny part or amount or proportion of something. When we divide a whole quantity into equal parts, each part is a fraction of the whole. For example, as you can see there is a circle. Let us take this circle as one whole quantity. This circle is divided into two equal parts. So each part is one half of the total. If we divide the same circle into four equal parts, each part is one fourth. Now let us take away one part out of the four equal parts of a circle. As you can see in the figure, three parts out of four are left. So three by four of the circle is left. Fractions also represents parts of a set or collection. For example, if there are total five children, three out of five are girls. So the fraction of girls is three fifth. Two out of five are boys. So the fraction of boys is two fifth. Fraction notation. A fraction has two parts. The number on the top is called the numerator and the number below the line is called denominator. The numerator tells how many equal parts of the whole or collection are taken. The denominator shows the total number of equal parts which are there in a collection. For example, one if one is the numerator, two is the denominator, the fraction is written as one upon two and it is read as one by two, where one tells the number of equal parts taken and two tells the total number of parts. Let us now take few more examples to write the fractional colored part of the following figures. As you can see the first figure it's a rectangle with two equal parts. One part is shaded so the fraction representing the shaded part is 1 by 2. Similarly in the next triangle also the shaded part is 1 by 2. Now if we divide a square into four equal parts, three parts uh, are shaded. So the fraction representing the shaded part is 3 by 4. Similarly, if a rectangle is divided into 8 equal parts, 5 out of the 8 equal parts are shaded. So the fraction representing the colored part is 5 by 8. Now let us move to the types of fraction. First, unit fractions. All the fractions with their numerator equals to 1 are called unit fractions. For example, 1 by 3, 1 third, 1 by 2, 1 half, 1 by 5, 1 fifth, etc. Second, proper fractions. Fractions in which the numerator is always less than the denominator are called proper fractions. For example, 3 by 4, 2 by 3, 8 by 10, etc. Third, improper fractions. Fractions in which the numerator is equal to or greater than the denominator are called improper fractions. For example, 4 by 4, 7 by 2, 5 by 4, etc. The value of an improper fraction is always equal to or greater than 1. Every natural number is an improper fraction. Example 3 by 1, 5 by 1, etc. Fourth, mixed fraction. A combination of a proper fraction and a whole number is called a mixed fraction. Every improper fraction can be represented as a mixed fraction. For example, 1, 1 by 2, 3, 2 by 5, etc. In other words, we can say that a fraction which contains two parts, a natural number and a proper fraction. 3, 2 by 5 can be written as 3 plus 2 by 5. First property, a mixed fraction may always be converted into an improper fraction. Let us follow a few steps and get it converted. Step 1, multiply the natural number by the denominator. Step 2, add the numerator to the product. Step 3, write the new number obtained after adding over the denominator. Now let us take one example, 3, 1 by 2. Here we will get 2 into 3, 2 multiplied by 3, then the product 6 will be added to 1, we will get 7 by 2. 1, 3 by 4, 4 multiplied by 1 plus 3 upon the denominator 4. So 4 ones are 4 plus 3, that means 7 divided by the denominator 4. Now property 2. Every improper fraction can be converted to mixed fraction by following steps. First step, divide the numerator by the denominator. 
to get the quotient and the remainder. Take quotient as the whole number and remainder over the denominator is the proper fraction of the required mixed fraction. Let us take example 7 divided by 3. 7 by 3 is a fraction so we will divide 7 by 3. We will get the divisor 3, quotient 2 and the remainder 1. So, 7 by 3 is an improper fraction that can be represented as the quotient 2 plus the remainder 1 divided by the divisor 3. So, it is 2 plus 1 by 3 that means 2 1 by 3. Let us take one more example 13 by 5. 13 when divided by 5 will we'll get the quotient 2 and the remainder 3. So, 13 by 5 can be written as 2 3 by 5 like fractions. Fractions with the same denominator are called like fractions. Example 3 by 4, 1 by 4, 7 by 4 etc. In all the cases you can see the denominators are equal. Unlike fractions. Fractions with different denominators are called unlike. 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 5 by 6 all are having different denominators. So they are unlike to each other. Next comes equivalent fractions. Two fractions are said to be equivalent if they represent the same thing, although they use different numbers. For example, if I am taking uh, an example of a pie, let us take a pie, make its two equal parts. If we are eating one part of the two equal parts, that, that then the fraction representing the part we have eaten is 1 by 2. Now let us make four equal parts of the same pie and we eat two parts out of that. The fraction representing the part that we have eaten is 2 by 4. Now let's make its 8 equal parts. After making its 8 equal parts, let's say we are eating 4 parts. So the fraction representing the part eaten by us is 4 by 8. Here you can see the figure. All three figures shows that 1 by 2 of the part is eaten. Hence, uh, 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 4 by 8, all three are representing the equal fraction. So, these type of fractions are called equivalent fractions.